Welcome to KNN. KNN is brought to you by Bob Knackle, Chairman of New York Investment Sales at JLL. Hi, I'm John Hageman, Managing Director at JLL. Welcome to KNN. Today I'm here with Bob Knackle, Chairman of New York Investment Sales, and today we're going to talk about how we're preparing to potentially save our clients millions of dollars. So, Hags, that was quite an intro. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? How are we going to save our clients millions of dollars? I don't know. Let's, just, let's talk about it. <laughs> well, what we're doing is trying to anticipate something that we think is likely to happen before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, several months ago, the administration said that they were going to um, propose increasing capital gains taxes mm -hmm. very, very significantly, one of the largest increases ever uh, in the capital gains tax rate. Yep. Um, we would have thought that uh, that, that would have precipitated tons of properties coming on the market. Have not seen that. And I think that the, our elected officials have been so busy with so many different things, they have not addressed tax policy since that initial announcement. Mm -hmm. um, and so people are not taking it seriously. They're not thinking about it. And I hope that there is no tax increase. That would be the best thing, that there's no capital gains tax increase at all. 1031 exchanges stay the same. Um, and, you know, we've, we've always said tax policy, more than anything else, impacts market participant behavior. Uh, if you think about it, with the potential increase that has been proposed in the capital gains tax rate, for an owner that has a near zero basis in their property, uh, if capital gains taxes go up the way they said, basically they'll be left with about 20% less after taxes. Mm -hmm. So think about a reduction of 20% in, in the value of a property, yeah. what that would do. You would think that a lot of people would be thinking about selling their properties. We have not seen that. Um, so the, the worst possible scenario for the industry is that the, uh, the taxes are increased and effective next year, uh, but it's not announced until very late this year. Bob, go into that a little more about that worst case scenario. Yeah, well, again, Hags, if, if we knew taxes were going to increase next year, right. but knew about it back in March or April, right. everyone would have plenty of time to prepare to sell a property, go through a normal marketing process, maximize their value. Yep. Uh, the worst possible scenario would be that this is announced in November or early December and there's not enough time to act. So what we've done is we've created the value protection program for our clients. And so what we've been in the process of doing is curating a group of buyers who are willing to look at different property types underwrite properties, know that they may not be for sale or they may be for sale, mm -hmm. but to the extent that a client wants to look into this, we can take the information on their property, get it out to these curated buyers who will take a look at it, underwrite them, and be ready to close by year end on a very short term notice. So to the extent mm -hmm. that November 1st, it's announced that capital gains taxes are going to go up, most folks would then be scrambling to try to get something done, and the speed with which they would have to move in order to effectuate a sale by year end would basically eliminate the savings that they'd be getting. Yep. We're now proposing that the clients do it in an orderly fashion, give us the information, let us underwrite it, let us get it out to the, the buyers who are willing to proceed on this basis, mm -hmm. uh, such that if the taxes are increased later in the year, these buyers will have already underwritten the property fully. They will be able to close by year end, mm -hmm. uh, not expect a big, uh, big discount in price for moving so quickly. Mm -hmm. And it will give the, the seller the ability to get full value for their property in the event taxes do increase. In the event taxes don't increase, they don't have to sell. Um, but it's a way to anticipate what is likely to happen. Because in the past, if you look at Tax law changes in 1986, 1998, 2012. Mm -hmm. There were a number of people who, even though those tax increases were known for a long time, didn't react until very, very late in the year. They came to us end of October or November right. saying, hey, I want to sell by year end. And there just wasn't enough time to do it properly. So we're anticipating that this could happen. 
Certainly we hope it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. but if it does occur that we're going to have these big increase in capital gains taxes, we want folks to be able to be prepared, to have an option to sell if they choose to sell, mm -hmm. and to get a fair market price rather than having to sell at a distressed price just because you have no time to do it. So Bob, one of the things you, you mentioned that we've talked about is it's a little surprising to me that people would underwrite a property like this or spend the time to do the due diligence up front and do all this work without an expectation or a, you know, a commitment that they're actually going to be able to purchase the property. Well, again, Hags, the, the reason why buyers would do this, and again, we've spoken to a curated list of buyers for each property type that are willing to do this because, number one, the properties are not widely marketed. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not a traditional marketing program that we're going through. Number two, if you think about it, only about half the stuff that actually goes on the market for sale trades anyway. So just because something's openly on the market doesn't mean it's going to mm -hmm. trade. So the, the risk reward for the potential buyer is appropriate. And so we, we have this list of folks who are willing to do this work. Uh, we're already working on a couple of these projects, as you know, which seem to be going really well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is a way for our clients to potentially save millions of dollars by being able to transact in an orderly fashion uh, with full due diligence done, um, no discount in price because the buyer didn't have time to do X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. um, and so by encouraging the, the owners to uh, invest a little bit in due diligence reports and uh, environmental reports mm -hmm. and property conditions reports and massing studies and things like that. Um, it's putting them in a position such that they won't have to take a big discount if they decide to sell uh, before the end of the year because of a change in tax policy. So it's just kind of a contingency plan mm -hmm. uh, for folks. And, uh, you know, we've just started uh, rolling this out. And uh, I think it'll be a great thing for both buyers and sellers and could help uh, buyers get properties that they might not be able to get otherwise and may help sellers be able to get fair prices for their properties rather than uh, having to rush to sell at a discount.